I have literally been documenting the last couple weeks and the ups and downs and my random thoughts throughout the days. That's what this episode's all about. Oh, hi, Carly. You come to say hi? <laughs> all right, guys, let's do this. Let's get started. I hope you enjoy this. I'm at Target right now and I just purchased diapers for the first time <laughs> ever. So different, but really cool. These are what I went with. I don't know anything about diapers. We'll see how they do. Here's the thing. I got home and I didn't, I realized I didn't do any research on um, diapers and I just picked the one that said one. <laughs> I had no idea what it meant. And I got home and realized after doing a YouTube search on which diapers I should be buying, that there is a pound a weight and they have like newborn to one. And if you get the newborn diapers, it will, you know, be like a couple weeks, most likely that your baby uses them and that's it. So, um, and also that people do start with one sometimes they just go right into that so again i think it depends on the size of the child but i talked to my mom the other day i was like mom how do i know what diapers to to get i was like i can't buy any and she's like kevin just buy the diapers buy some and if you have to exchange them exchange them so i haven't opened them i was thinking i was going to open them and put some in the diaper bag and just get it all set up but i figured it's better to just not open them wait till i know the size of the child all of that good jazz and then I will open the diapers up. So that's that, Pampers. So I also today did something where I wrote, and you guys can't look, don't look at it. I wrote a note to my future child. Cause someone said you should write, cause I, okay, so I was like, I actually have a feeling I know the day that they're gonna call me for a child. But I didn't wanna share it just because I want it to be like for me. And she said, you should write that down and show it to your child one day. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, I like that. And I just wrote like a two sentence little note and I put it on my fridge because I'm all about, I love like intention, putting things you know, out into the universe and to God and believing that that happens, so. I did that and it felt good. And I was just walking into my kitchen and I saw it and it made me smile and I wanted to share it. Okay, that is the end of day one. Waiting! <laughs> oh, that's the end of day one. Look who's here for day one. Good nights. <laughs> okay, everybody. It's time to go to bed. I'm tired. This one's not. <laughs> oh, here we go with the anxiety attacks. <laughs> Good night, everyone. So I may or may have not purchased some stuff on Amazon last night in addition to my Target purchase, and it just arrived. Day two. They're so cute. All right, so I purchased these sheets yesterday. Yesterday, I got some stuff off of the Target registry that I have. The crib that I have is actually a mini crib, and the sheets I purchased were too large because I didn't know they were a mini crib. Thank, thank you to the person who commented on my video about like a, two weeks ago telling me what I have is a mini crib, and that's why my sheets didn't work. Yo, these are so cute. Wait, let's go on the floor here. That sunlight is just killing me. Look at that, little arrows and um, teepees. This one is my fave. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't handle it. I can't handle it. It's super soft. This was only like $12 on Amazon from Brock, Brolex, Brolex. So that's that y'all. Day two, day two. So 
it's just another day. Another normal day, just waiting. Anytime I get any feelings of uh, anxiety from like, oh, what are they gonna call? Say a little prayer. Call a friend who's been through this. And get her done. All right, I'm gonna go back to work. So end of day two, almost end of day two. Let's see, what am I feeling? Right now I'm feeling like, when are they gonna call? <laughs> I don't have too many feelings, I guess. It's just a busy day today. I did get to talk to my brother a little bit on the phone about the fostering. And it was actually the first time I talked to this brother about that, which was nice. And I got his thoughts on it and I feel more seen, which I think is very important. Um, we talked about different things about being homosexual and raising kids and what it's like for kids to know about homosexuality at particular times in their life and like age appropriate times, um, which I appreciate the feedback. He and I differ slightly on our views on that. Um, but I'm sure that's because I'm gay and he's not. Um, so I think that's a big part of it. And then I also think that part, that part of it is like, he's a parent and I'm not right now, you know? I do think that there are things that you probably learn instantly when you're a parent and obviously over time as well when you're a parent that you just don't know, probably can't even conceive when you are not a parent. So I don't know, lots to take in, but I definitely think that's a win, probably a win for the day, honestly. Um, other than that, that's it for today, end of day two. Oh my God, okay, I can't handle it. I'm over here watching Jamie Perkins. If you guys don't watch Jamie Perkins and his daughters, you need to do that. Let me turn this down a little bit because they are just like the cutest family ever. And obviously I watch them a lot on YouTube, but um, <laughs> oh, it's so hard. It's like, why am I doing this to myself? I should be in bed right now, but I'm just watching their YouTube channel and they're so cute and he's such a good father. Um, just seeing him interact with his daughters is amazing and kind of inspiring. Makes me think like I can't wait to experience that. But okay, now this is the end of day two. No more recording today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to Target right now and gotta love Target, right? This waiting game is intense. I'll be honest, being fully approved as an intake, as a foster parent, oh, that's so crazy to even say, is the waiting is even more intense because every time my phone beeps or my phone rings, any sound comes out of my nose, my nose, my phone, I'm like, oh my gosh. Especially obviously when my phone rings, I'm just like, is that the call? Is that the call? And I do have the number, like they gave me the phone number for the person that would be calling. So I don't have to, what is that there? I don't have to like worry too much because I know who's gonna be calling me. But there's part of me that's like, well, what if she calls from a different number and not that number? And so I gotta be alert for every phone call. But I just remind myself to stay calm, stay patient, let her have the baby, like they always say. And there's another thing too, where I'm kind of like, and this has been suggested to me, like just to enjoy this time because I'm not gonna get this time back. Like this will be the last bit of me being single, like not a parent. And this is good time right now. Like this is, this is time that I can just, I can get up anytime and leave and do whatever I want and not have to think about it. And 
that's not going to be that way for a long time. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, it's intense. There's a lot of waiting. And every single time my phone rings, I swear to you, I'm like, oh, okay, that's the call. This is the call. And it's not the call. <laughs> but I know it'll come soon. The other day, I could not sleep. It was like I was having premonitions in my sleep. I was like, oh my goodness, this is happening today. I can feel it. I can feel it. And oddly enough, like that that next day, a lot of really good positive things happened for me that day. So I don't know if like energetically I was feeling a lot of goodness that was coming through to me the next day, but ooh, it was an intense night. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's have a chat. So it's like, man, I find, I'm not even gonna lie, like today I find myself being just like a little frustrated and why is this taking so long? And you just want it to, you just want to get that call. Today I felt myself getting frustrated and angry because I was like, wait, they've been telling me this whole time. They were like, you're going to get a call. The day, you, the day you get approved, we get so many calls for babies, like you're gonna get the call the day or maybe the day after, like you just watch. And it slowed down and I talked to the, I talked to the uh, agency last week in the middle of the week and they even said, we are so slow. They got like three calls that week and they were for older kids. And it was the weirdest thing how, like it's just gotten pretty stagnant and I just felt myself getting frustrated. But you know what I did? I have a friend and I just called her and I said, hey, I'm just feeling frustrated and I don't know what's going on. And we got to talk and she told me her perspective and she said, I, I feel every time you talk, Kevin, I feel like I'm listening to myself when I was in your situation. And she said, just remember, like there's a reason that you know, your kid is waiting for you. Your kid is like, it is, is um, like, it's, there's a bigger picture. She said, I know you're spiritual and just remember that there's, there's a bigger picture and everything's working out the way it's supposed to. And it's really nice to hear those things. And it's also really nice to like self mediate the frustration when you feel that way. And like, you know, have those people that you can reach out to and say, hey, I'm feeling frustrated. And, and be able to talk and vent and then hear you and then get that positive feedback um, from them when, you know, if you want it, in which I'm so happy that, you know, she, had, she was able to give me her experience, you know, because the agency also tells me, like, you need people in your corner, you need people there to support you and help you through this process. And I know that this is a long process. I know that nothing when it comes to the foster uh, system is a for sure thing, nothing. You don't know when they're gonna get a call. You don't know what kid's gonna be called, uh, what kid they're gonna have for you when they call you. You don't know what an adoption process will look like, what court processes are gonna look like, what family arrangements are gonna look like. Nothing is for sure. And I just kind of remember like, this is preparing me for things that could go down in the future if things don't go the most perfect way possible. So I kind of use these times to just like feel my feelings, obviously, whether it's excitement or joy or frustration or um, anxiety, and then talk to whom I want or can about it, vlog. <laughs> and when the right person comes, the right person comes, you know, when that right child is, 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 when life aligns itself for me to have a child, that's when I'll get the call. It's been it's been challenging sometimes, but it's been there's far more times that it's been a joy, a complete and utter joy to be to be waiting for that call. A month since I've been approved to foster, and I will tell you what this process is crucial. No, gruesome. It is difficult. It's so difficult waiting. It's like, I find myself just thinking, is today gonna be the day where everything changes? And I go into these periods of 
forgetting about it and and then periods of like excitement and someone gave me like all these toys today so like someone gave me this like kitchen set thing and this little bicycle thing and like all these different things that I was given and it's wonderful because I'll hold on to those things for when the child gets older but at the same time it's like sometimes some of this stuff is like uh, it's like blatantly in my face and baby stuff all around all the time and I just can't wait for the phone call and I'm doing my best to stay grounded, stay not anxious about it, but also utilizing my friends to talk to and express how I feel. And everyone understands, especially people that have fostered already, they understand that like, this process of waiting is super difficult. They always say, it's just like, hurry up and wait. So I'm doing my best, but that is things so far. I'm hoping the next video that I put out is the video the day I get the call and you know I'll like I don't know what that process would be like but we'll see how it all pans out if you guys haven't checked out uh my stuff on gays with kids their channel I'm doing a whole two times a month a um uh, a series on their channel all about foster care and how we can bring awareness into the foster care system so um go head over to the Gays with Kids channel. I will link them in the description below and check that video out. It's really informative and it's just a good series. So, oh my goodness. Thanks for watching this crazy journey. We'll see how it all turns out. I'm excited. Peace out guys. Thanks for watching.